craziest cryptids that resemble Bigfoot. Bigfoot is usually described as a hairy, bipedal, ape-like creature that stands up to 9 feet tall, 2.7 meters or more. Indigenous tribes of North America have long told stories of such giants that roamed the forests and would steal people during the night. The hairy giants were known as Sasquatch or wild men among those tribes. The nickname of Bigfoot didn't enter the popular culture until the 1950s. While more than a third of Sasquatch sightings occur in the Pacific Northwest, similar sightings have been reported in other parts of North America and worldwide. Some of the more familiar names are the Skunk Ape in the US, the Yeti in the Himalayas, and the Yowie of Australia. We'll check out those creatures and a few more of the craziest cryptids that resemble Bigfoot. Number 10. Ma Pinguari Locals in the Amazon rainforests of Bolivia and Brazil have reported sightings of large, bipedal, ape-like creatures that can stand some 9 feet tall, 2.7 meters. While it's covered in thick reddish fur, it also possesses scaly, armored skin that is allegedly bulletproof. And they have no worries about going after humans. Here are some other scary attributes. The beasts have one eye, similar to a cyclops. In addition to having backward-facing armadillo feet, they have two mouths. One of them is centered in the belly and exudes a heinous stink that deters predators. Many eyewitness accounts have linked these bizarre beings to the ancient ground sloth, Megatherium. The similarities don't include their weight. Megatherium could weigh some 8,800 pounds, four metric tons. But some researchers think that Ma Pinguari could represent a smaller ground sloth that managed to survive to modern times. Number nine, the Mogian monster. This creature in the Bigfoot mold is said to originate in Mogollon Rim in Arizona. This bipedal humanoid stands over 7 feet tall, 2.1 meters, is inhumanly strong, and has huge eyes described as red and wild. With the exclusion of its face, hands, feet, and chest, its body is covered with long hair that is either red or black. Some reports indicate the creature has a foul, pungent odor. Stories describe it as a nocturnal creature, which is territorial and sometimes violent. It's known to decapitate deer and other prey before eating it. The oldest known sighting of the monster is thought to have been reported in a 1903 edition of the Arizona Republican. It described a creature that had long, white hair and talon-like claws observed near the Grand Canyon. More recent sightings have been reported in the 21st century. In one case, a member of the White Mountain Apache Nation claimed to see a creature that was tall, covered in black hair and taking giant strides. It was reportedly spotted on several occasions in the area. We couldn't find any sightings of the Mogian monster after that. Number 8. Honey Island Swamp Monster If the planned world had a version of Bigfoot, it might be this creature which is reminiscent of the Swamp Thing. The Honey Island Swamp of eastern Louisiana is where this monster has been sighted. It is said to be heavily covered in matted hair, along with swampy vines and reeds. Witnesses claim it weighs over 500 pounds, 227 kilograms, stands around 8 feet tall, 2.4 meters, and produces a vile stench like rotting flesh. Locals have long blamed it for the killing of livestock and the disappearance of children. Some of the more unusual theories for the critter included being the product of an alligator and an ape. The reptile reference is due to the swamp monster's yellowish eyes that are not unlike a reptile's. We found other sources that speculated the beast could be a plant and animal hybrid. Whatever its origins, its alleged attacks indicate the monster has three toed feet that are webbed. That suggests the creature has evolved to survive in a swamp-like habitat. While we earlier made a Swamp Thing reference, the monster's appearance has inspired the nickname Louisiana Wookie. Number seven, Chichinya. Another cryptid in the mold of Bigfoot allegedly roams about Siberia. This one is said to be covered with dark hair and stands up to 7 feet tall, 2.1 meters. Some accounts say the creatures have tails. They're said to occasionally dine on human flesh, which is different from the Almas, to whom they're often compared. We'll talk about those creatures in a bit. A Chichunya was allegedly killed by hunters in 1957, and the body was taken to the city of Yakutska, where it later disappeared. Although there have been occasional alleged sightings of this creature, including one in 1985 by a British anthropologist, no physical evidence has actually been uncovered. But even though eyewitness accounts haven't been verified, that doesn't mean the creatures aren't out there. Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Number 6. Amphia Leah Moore Here's a cryptid that is said to haunt Ben Macdui, the second highest mountain peak in the British Isles. 
Also known as the Big Grey Man, it's said to be covered in grey fur or short hair and stands more than 10 feet tall, 3 metres. Even if it's not seen, the creature's menacing presence is palpable and causes extreme discomfort among mountain climbers. Accounts of similar creatures have been reported in Scotland and other parts of Europe since the 13th century. The first documented encounter with one of these beasts occurred in 1891, but it wasn't known to the public until 1925. While you can make easy comparisons to Bigfoot or the Yeti, this creature is often connected to the supernatural. In these views, the Big Grey Man is a guardian that not only protects the mountain, but the gates to other dimensions as well. Some experts have offered a more practical explanation. They say the monster is nothing more than an illusion that is created by extreme exhaustion or isolation. Number 5. The Almas these ape-like beings are said to inhabit the Pamirs and Caucasus Mountains in Central Asia. They've also been reported in the Altai Mountains of Western Mongolia. Many such creatures have been reported in these regions and appear in the folklore of native people. But the Almas are considered less like Sasquatch creatures and more like wild people in terms of their habits and appearance. They're said to stand around 6.5 feet tall, 2 meters, with a pronounced brow, a weak chin and a flat nose. Many cryptozoologists have likened their physical features to those of Neanderthals, although almas are covered with reddish-brown body hair. Unlike yetis, these humanoids can craft clothing and tools. Sightings of the almas have been reported since the 1400s, and we found a couple of notable encounters. In 1850, a female almas identified as Zara was captured in the mountains. She was trained to perform routine chores and allegedly produced four children with a local man. Another case involved a male Almas who was captured by Soviet forces during World War I. He had a human-like appearance but was covered in dark hair. After he was unwilling or unable to talk, he was executed as a spy. Number 4. The Mayaka Skunk Ape This creature's nickname comes from descriptions given to police when it was first reported in the 1970s. It was said to be ape-like, covered in light brown fur, stood around 7 feet tall, 2.1 meters, and weighed about 450 pounds. That description could easily be applied to Bigfoot, but witnesses in Mayaka, Florida claimed that this animal exuded a horrific stench, which led to it being called the Florida Skunk Ape. After a flurry of sightings, the critter faded from view and little was heard about it. By some accounts, the government had relocated it to a national reserve in Florida for observation. But in the early 21st century, photos of a weird-looking animal were received by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department in Florida. Those pictures featured a strange, shaggy creature lurking in the shadows and obscured by plants, as if it emerged from a forested area. The pictures included a note from the anonymous photographer stating that the beast was an orangutan. Maybe this skunk ape was more of a great ape that roamed the Sunshine State. Number 3. Bigfoot Down Under Witnesses have described the Yowie as a large, ape-like creature covered in dark hair that can stand 7 feet tall, 2.1 meters or more, and has exceptionally large feet. That has inspired cryptozoologists to call it the Australian Bigfoot. But there are some physical differences between the two cryptids. Yowies are said to have fang-like canine teeth and claws like talons. Some accounts say these beasts are shy and timid, but other sources claim the Yowie can be aggressive and violent. Some stories claim these Sasquatch-like animals have mauled dogs and kangaroos, and even attacked humans on rare occasions. While creatures like this appear in the mythology of Aboriginal Australians, other explanations have been presented for their origin as well. That includes the Yowie being a descendant of the Gigantopithecus, an enormous prehistoric ape that went extinct about 100,000 years ago. That theory has also been applied to other Sasquatch species, the first documented sighting of the Yowie is thought to have taken place in 1795. Since then, they've been reported throughout Oz, with the most recent sightings occurring in southeast Queensland. And here's a fun factoid, did you know that the Yowie is the only cryptid on our list that has a chocolate candy named for it? Number 2. The Yeti This is probably the cryptid on our list that most resembles Bigfoot, at least in terms of brand awareness. This ape-like beast has long been claimed to inhabit the Himalayan mountains of Tibet. People indigenous to the region say the creature stands up to 10 feet tall, over 3 meters, and weighs around 400 pounds, 181 kilograms. We usually think of them having white fur, but yetis are also said to display hair color that ranges from reddish brown to black. 
Prior to the 19th century, a creature matching the Yeti's description was regarded as a type of deity that was worshipped by hunters. British explorers claimed to see a large, bipedal creature in 1832. By the end of the 19th century, footprints allegedly made by the animal were found. Westerners continued the search for the Yeti, and the familiar nickname, the Abominable Snowman, was first coined in 1921 during an expedition. Sightings of the snowman and its alleged footprints are still being reported into the 21st century, with the most recent occurring in 2019. Much like Bigfoot, there's still no concrete explanation for what the Yeti might be. But one popular theory proposes that it could be a misidentified Tibetan blue bear. Those beasts are rarely seen in the wild, and that is not unlike the Yeti. Number 1. Sasquatch We started off the episode with this beast, so let's end with it. While these creatures were first documented by Europeans in the early 19th century, they were known to Native Americans for centuries. In fact, it's possible that Bigfoot sightings could be dated to 1,000 years ago. Pictographs portraying creatures matching the description of Sasquatch have been found at California's Painted Rock Shelter. From what we could find, the most recent Bigfoot or Sasquatch sighting occurred in Washington State in July of 2019. That's the location where Bigfoot is most often sighted in the US. After Washington State, your best chances to encounter the legendary beast are in California, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Plan your trip accordingly. But before you go expeditioning, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.